Hi there and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video on how to remove and replace an Arai J-Type side pod without breaking them. So the first thing we need to do is remove the visor. If you don't know how to do this, we have made a video showing how to do it, so please take a look before you proceed any further. We don't want you damaging your, uh, your helmet. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm using a clear side pod so you can see what's going on behind the scenes, so to speak, as I talk you through the, uh, the process of removing it. Now the first thing we need to do, the lever arm that we use to remove the visor, this needs to be in an up position out of the way because we need to gain access to the red tab underneath that. Now I'm going to be using a, an RI side pod removal tool. You could use something like a lollipop stick, uh, but obviously don't use anything with a sharp point or a sharpened edge on it as you don't want to cause damage to either the side pod base plate or more importantly the, the shell of the helmet. It's, it's cost you a lot of money to buy, you don't want to be replacing it before you have to. So we're just going to reach down underneath that lever arm and pull it up out of the way like so. Now what we're going to do, we're going to down between the shell and the side pod to meet this red tab, we're then going to push it in which will release a lug which is located in the bottom of the side pod in place. Now what a lot of people do then which uh, causes damage to the side pod is to pull the side pod away from the helmet. Now there's also a lug at the top here which if you just pull it away will snap and it's going to end up costing you money for a new set of side pods. What we're going to do once we've released the bottom of the side pod, we're just going to lift it away slightly from the helmet and just slide the side pod up and this will release the top lug and you won't cause any damage to the side pod at all. Just hold the side pod in place, go down between the shell and the pod, push that button in, that's the bottom released, take hold of the bottom of the side pod, slide it up and there we go, that is your side pod removed. Now, when we come to replace it, we are literally going to do what we've just done, but in reverse order. So we're going to locate the top lug first, we're going to let the side pod fall into place, locate everything else where it needs to be, give it a good push, and it'll pop into place. Now, sometimes when you've replaced a side pod, you've put it into place, you've pushed it, you've heard a click, you'll let go, and it'll pop off again. There is nothing wrong with the base plate or the side pod, it's just sometimes this button that we press doesn't release correctly. So when we've pushed it in, it hasn't released, you let go of the pressure, it pops back out. So we basically need to give it a bit more pressure and, uh, and it'll click into place. I've got a feeling this one is going to do that, so uh, it will show you the, the worst case scenario when you're refitting the side pod. Just pop the lever arm down out of the way. Locate the top lug first. Now if you put your finger where that lug is, the side pod will naturally kind of fall into place where it needs to be. Just make sure this lug is located between the two prongs of the red button we pressed. With the flat of your hand, all you're going to do is just push it until you hear a click. Now if I let go, I've got a feeling that this one's going to pop back out again. If I just test it, there we go, like so. So what we need to do if that happens, if you let go it may fall straight off or when you come to test it on the corner it may ping off then. So locate the top lug, line everything else up give it a push. I'm just going to try and keep the pressure applied so I can show you what I'm doing. Now where this red button was, it hasn't released correctly. So right at the centre here, just pinch the helmet together and just run your finger along it and you should hear a second click. Like so. Now I know that that's located correctly. To make sure it is, this bottom corner, with your thumb, just ping it a couple of times. If it doesn't come off, it's seated correctly. And there we have it. That is how to remove and replace an RI J-type side pod. 